Hello guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another team of the season, Silver Player Review. We're going to be looking at Vincenzo Griffo today, who is from Freiburg in the second division of the German League. Uh, I don't actually know a great deal about him, to be honest. I've never seen him play in real life. If anyone has seen him play, I would be, I would love to hear what he plays like in real life, because obviously he's a centre forward naturally on FIFA, but they've given him a left wing card. I'd love to know if he's a sort of skillful player, if he's a pacey player, if he, you know, what sort of player he is, because that's something I'm going to talk about a little bit in the video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for the support on the previous videos. We've gone from about 180 subs uh, to uh, just short of 400 in under two days, which is pretty amazing, really. So I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the videos. If you haven't already checked out Team of the Season Farias, Team of the Season Hernandez, Team of the Season Drinkwater, Team of the Season De Boer, or any of the other ones that I've done, definitely go and check them out and stay tuned for more Team of the Seasons. This is the first upload of today. There will be Team of the Season Jota later on in the day. Anyway, this guy has 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 78 shooting, 80 passing, 70 physical, really solid all-round card stats. I picked him up for 19k, which is really good, but I think he's actually dropped even further because he is in the second division of the Bundesliga. Although he's Italian, you know, it's not a great league to put him in. Anyway, I've, his mental and physical stats are pretty solid, to be honest. Oh, a lot of dark greens in there. Uh, something to notice is his sprint speed is quite significantly lower than his acceleration. I mean, not significantly, but it is a bit lower. Skill attributes are pretty well-rounded also. Uh, I, th I think it's, it's, it's important to say that maybe these don't reflect how he plays in game. That's something I'm going to talk about a bit. Four-star skill moves, which is awesome. That's really always good to have. And three-star weak foot, no problem there. And he can play center forward, cam, right mid, left mid. Anyway, let's get straight into talk about him. He had decent crossing. That's really cool. He had relative... No, his finishing wasn't great. It was okay, but I was never confident he was going to put it in the corner. And let's move on to the negatives because we're going to get straight into this. What is this guy meant to be? I tried him at left forward, left wing, left mid. He's not good at fi he's not good enough at finishing to be a left forward. His crossing's good, but his pace lets him down a bit in that he 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 can burst past someone, but he will get caught up. And although his strength's not horrendous, it wasn't good enough to hold someone off, especially not defenders. So I didn't really feel like he was comfortable in a left wing position. Um, and also, at left mid, he felt a little bit wasted because his long passing was absolutely shocking. Like, I couldn't pick someone out. Other than crossing, which I felt like his curve sort of saved him a little bit, but long passing and even short passing wasn't... It was good, but it wasn't anything spectacular. Uh, long shots were pretty dire. Uh, I, I felt like his curve was decent, as I said before. But as far as everything else went, I was really disappointed. And I just felt like he, he should have offered more than he did. As a, as a team of the season, I think the harshest thing I could probably say about this guy is he just felt like an average player that had stuck in the team that... Like what? I feel like the, all these team of seasons either the the full package like De Boer or they have a little bit of something special like dribbling or pace or passing. But I felt like Griffo he, he he had a little bit of everything but not enough of anything to be special. You can I mean you can see his positives and negatives there. You can see you can read them yourselves. Uh, although uh, another thing I really need to mention is although he was strong-ish, he seemed to lose the ball so easily, and I was really disappointed because I'm a massive fan of the Italian national team, and I hope this guy sort of progresses in the future to be a really interesting player. And as I said, the four-star skill moves are good, but lots of players have four-star skill moves, so I can't rate him higher just because of that. So I've given him a 6.7 out of 10 because I just couldn't give him any higher because I just didn't feel like he brought anything special. And I've said he feels like a 75 to a 75 because that is the, the rating I would have given him. He's He felt like just slightly above a silver, but nothing that you would notice. Like he didn't stand out within the team. Anyway, guys... For end chat today, who is the best silver free kick taker you have used on FIFA 16? Now, I've heard this guy is actually very good at free kicks in real life. He had really decent in-game free kick stats, but I tried two free kicks with him. As you can tell, he didn't make it into the video because they weren't very good. And that's pretty much the end of the video. I spoke really fast there. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of this video. And yeah, cheers, guys.